living in Nigeria versus living in abroad a case study of a Nigerian living in America hey my loves welcome back to my channel in case you are seeing my face for the first time my name is Tulu Lokwe and on this channel I recently created a playlist that I titled Japa Diaries in this playlist I'm going to be sharing my experience as a Nigerian living in abroad America to be precise so this will help you to make your decision and when you finally decide to Japa that is move abroad the things to expect and in this episode i'll be sharing the similarities and differences and what it is like to live in america if you don't know i'm nigerian and i've lived Niger lived in nigeria all my life i recently just moved to america it's not been up to four months and i'm here to share my experience the differences and similarities that i have noticed from living in nigeria to living in america if that is what you are interested in then i will advise you to keep on watching and don't skip any part of this video i'm going to be sharing information and i'm sure you don't want to miss any bit of it go nowhere because we're starting right away the first point i would like to be talking about is power this is a no-brainer because when you're in america you don't have to bother about buying generator you don't have to bother about fuel you don't have to bother about getting inverter you don't have to bother about generator you don't just have to bother about anything as regards to power because you are hundred percent sure that when you finish from work and you are going home you will have lights like in nigeria even after paying phcn for nepa you still have to bother about having other alternatives because phcl is not always reliable you have to worry about if you need to get an inverter or you have to get a generator or you have to use the solar system which you don't have to bother if you live abroad if you live in america if you live in canada if you live in the uk you don't have to bother about this i'm not sure anybody can ever get used to not having power even if you don't have anything to do with power sometimes you can never get used to not having power so this is a very important point and i just feel it has to come so the next point I would like to talk about is healthcare. We all know we are going to give America this one five star to America because the healthcare in America is much more reliable and dependable. I will, I will explain. When you watch the news sometimes in Nigeria, you hear that Muhammadu Buhari, that's the Nigerian president, have flown abroad for his regular health checkup. Sometimes they don't even go alone. He goes with his family. They go to the UK. They go to Canada. They come to the US for their regular health checkup. If the health system in Nigeria is that reliable, you will not need to move to, to you will not need to go to other country for his regular regular checkup. Another point I would like to mention is when you are ill or you're sick in America and you don't have adequate insurance to cover your bill, they are still going to take care of you. And when you are well or your friends and family can gather up money to pay off the bill, that will be settled in the future. But in Nigeria, we've had to lose some dear ones because of hospital bills, because some private hospital, even government hospital, when they build you certain amounts and your family and friend cannot gather around to provide that amount, you might be asked to move out of the hospital. I mean, I don't blame the private hospital because they use money in running the system, but because we are comparing living in Nigeria and living abroad, is, this is a major one that I need to mention because we are dear to our hearts because of this issue. So it's just very necessary that I include it in my point. So let's move to the next one. Before we move to the next point, guys, please, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that we we'll continue to grow and also turn on the notification bell. This is how you will be notified when I upload a new video. That being said, let's move to the next point. And the next point that I'll be talking about is the people. For this, there is no winner. I'm going to give America 50 and also give Nigeria 50. I'm going to talk about the people of America first. I don't know in other states, for my, but for my own state, California, the people here are very warm, welcoming, and fresh. Like sometimes when I'm going for my morning or evening work, you just see random people wave at you, smile at you, and they tell you it's a good day in it. They are very nice. Nigerian people too are very nice, warm, and receptive to new people, even the black out of when we take out the frustration. I find myself always making excuses for nigeria because nigerians are good people i am nigerian i am a good person nigerians are good people but some people allow the frustration of the government frustration of traffic frustration of power to get to them and they might appear a bit ash on the issue of people i'm going to give nigeria half and i'm going to give american half i'll be talking about is the issue of accent and grammatical differences 
if I'm if I don't talk about this, am I really Nigerian? Even in Nigeria, I don't know. I don't speak spray 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 like like this the way I'm talking to you guys in this video. But it can be frustrating when you recently moved to America or any other part, maybe US, maybe oh sorry, maybe Canada. It might really not be much difference in UK, being that we are colonized by the British and our English sounds are like and very similar unlike living in america let's say for instance you call the customer care and they say hello who is this and i'm like my name is tolu Lopesani. and you yes sorry can you say that again then i say tolu and i will have to start saying t has in table o has in ornament l as in lamp it can be very frustrating i mean i don't blame them they don't know me but as compared to living in nigeria once I just say to look for Sunny and you'll be hearing, oh, is your Sunny the one that was, is your father a lecturer in Kinekon Kinekon? Or are you from Ogun State? Or are you for, oh, my sister? Like, it's really so interesting. You feel at home. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, people just get it. They know you. You don't have to start spelling your name or anything. Then the issue of grammatical differences. Because Nigerian that I live, that lies by the British. So we speak British English and our spellings too are also British. But in America, it's, it, it's quite different. I'll give an example. Let's say in Nigeria, you've gotten some grocery, grocery sorry, and you need to put it in your car. You say, take it to the booth. But in America, they don't say booth. They say, uh, they say trunk. Then another one is, let's say, for instance, I'm putting on um, a trouser, like a pair of jeans. In America, they don't say trouser. They say pants. So sometimes, they really don't just get it. When I'm speaking to them, and I say some certain things, there is always a missing link because they don't just understand some things that you're talking about. If you're watching this video and you understand what I'm saying, just drop some examples of the similarities and differences in British and American English. I would love to read them. Let's move to the When I was in Nigeria, like, and we discussed, have some certain discussion on Twitter, we discuss about men and women, how women should be included in politics, you understand those kinds of conversation. But moving abroad or moving to America is a different ball game. Now, nobody is even talking about men or women. Now, we are not talking about this color, color of my skin. All my life, I've never imagined somebody would not like me just because of the color of my skin. Like, you cannot even compare tribalism and racism. You know some people in Nigeria, they talk about, oh, you are Usa, you are Yoruba. You cannot even compare it to racism. They don't come close. As a woman, when I enter a room in Nigeria, I look around and I scan through oh, how many women do we have, how many women do we have here, how many ladies do we have here. But when I move abroad, I scan around for how many blacks do we have. And it's the issue of minority. Recently, my friend, myself and my partner, we are looking to get an apartment and I was reading through the form and they asked me to tick if you are if you are minority or not and i did not just understand i quickly has the um estate agenda what do they mean by this and it was like oh you are minority if you are black american or you are black or you are asian and whole and i'm like sorry who are the majority and he said the whites i've never like all my life nobody has regarded me as a minority before but this is what i have to deal with in america this is my reality in america in nigeria i am just to look up where nobody's minority nobody's majority we are all equal we are all seen as the same way but in america it's not the same thing so before you jump abroad if this is really big deal to you you have to consider you have to think about it and another thing i would like to advise is when you are moving abroad you have to develop a very thick skin because there are some things that will happen to you that you will just be wondering why did that person behave to you that way you have to quickly check oh maybe it's because i'm black and especially if you would like to raise your children here this is something you also have to think about disclaimer this is not discouraging you guys from coming abroad i mean there are good people around there are nice people around and sometimes even the color of my skin makes me stand out like when i enter a space that i've been before or the space i haven't been people recognize me because i'm not just like any other person i am not reg i am not regular i am me i am tolu Lope, the girl from nigeria let's move to, we move to the next point i would like to let you know that living in abroad abroad is a diy economy you have to do a lot of things a lot of things yourself so this takes us to the next point, which is child care and help, domestic staff as you might like to call it. In Nigeria, I have aunties that have five house help 
like they have a different home for their child care they have another one that takes care of cooking they have another one that takes care of their laundry and the rest you don't have that luxury if you move abroad or america because this nanny are going to build you power depending on the states you live in i live in california that is considered expensive when compared to other states in the united states your nanny can bill you as high as 25 to 30 dollars per hour so if you don't have that money you might not be able to pay them and even if you can pay them i bet you might not be able to get more than one not to talk about getting two or three and another thing i would like to talk about is even if you don't want to take nanny or pay somebody imagine you want to bring in your mom or your mother-in-law to come abroad to come and help you with raising your child when you give birth to one it's the issue of you having to buy their plane ticket having to shop for them when they are leaving like it just comes at a cost unlike when i'm in nigeria my parents stay in ugu state let's say i put to bed my mom is just going to come from Nijebu to come and help me take care of my child or children in lagos unlike me having to buy plane tickets me having to me having to buy uh, do a visa you understand like it just comes at a cost it's expensive and again not even about your mom or whatever in nigeria you have your neighbor you can leave your like growing up when my mommy goes to work and myself and my sister comes back from school sometimes we hang around and just chill with our neighbor you will not be able to do that in the u.s because it's a mind your business economy everybody go about their own way and you might not have that close relationship with your neighbor i don't even know who lives next door to me so you have to consider that if you are japan and moving abroad you have to be you have to know that you might have to take care of your kids yourself and if you like to get somebody it comes at a cost so the next one i would like to talk about is the services i'm going to give this one to america the service in america is just very seamless and beautiful like it just feels like the whole system is just working in order to make life easy and very convenient for you like the shopping experience there is drive through there is pick up like you can just stay at home on your phone order your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep or is it the option of drive through you don't have to enter a restaurant and be queuing and be stressing like it's just very shopping experience is very smooth because the system works like everything just works but unlike comparing it to nigeria when you go to a store you don't have the issue of a sales rep looking down at you that can you really afford a particular item that you are pricing there's no issue of our pos is not working there's no issue of madam no transfer like you know all those headache you don't have to deal with it so i'm going to give the services in the us a five star when compared to that of nigeria and i'm sure there's similar experience in terms of the services to when you live in the us to when you live in the uk to when you live in canada or other advanced countries when compared to nigeria guys please don't forget don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps youtube in recommending the video to other users that might need the information that i am sharing so the next point i'll be talking about is weather and nigeria gets five star for this in nigeria we just have to bother about raining and dry season like is it wet is it dry and even the um the hamatan the dry season is not so bad when you compare it to the winter in canada to the winter in uk or the us so i'm going to give this to nigeria in in america there are several, there are different seasons throughout the year and this season have a way of affecting your your mood we have summer we have winter we have spring we have fall and especially in winter you notice that it gets dark easily and this have a way of affecting your mood like five o'clock and everywhere is already dark it starts sending signal to your body that maybe you should go to bed maybe you should go and sleep so realize that you tend to sleep very early and then you wake up in, in the middle of the night because you can no longer sleep and another major one that i would like to talk about is is the issue of tornado earthquake and other natural disasters we don't have to bother about this if you live in nigeria but these are the things that could happen even if we pray to god that it doesn't happen but these are other things that you might like to think about when you are moving abroad as a content creator you know i have to talk about this can you guess yes it's the internet high speed internet in america the network and the internet service provider is just top-notch like 
it's very fantastic to be very honest i don't have issue of oh there's no network i cannot upload my youtube video like once i schedule my video there's nothing stopping it from just publishing the network is just so good i don't have to bother about data i don't have to bother about a bad network i don't have to start thinking that oh it's about to rain mtn is going to fuck up or whatever service provider you are using is going to go off in america i don't have to bother about that once you pay for your day once you pay for your internet services at the beginning of the month you just enjoy yourself basically before you pay your next bill so for this one i give it to america high speed internet so this particular point the last point actually is for my foodies like refuse when you come to america and you buy um fries you have more than enough ketchup like you can take as much as you want as much as you like i remember before i traveled and i went to kfc i bought chicken and chips and the lady gave me just two ketchup and i'm like it's not enough i want more and she was like sorry you might have to get that they only give two ketchup per pack or per serving of the fries that i've gotten but when you are in america like you get as much as much as you like like they give you enough another one i would like to talk about is when you buy um you buy carbonated drinks in cups that is coke fanta miranda or the likes like you can take as much as you want there are a few machine there you can just go there yourself and take as much as you want but in nigeria this option is not available so this one goes to america because what is life without food tell me what is life without food literally nothing at the point that just uh that on top of my head i'm sure that as i continue to live abroad as i continue to live in the us there will be so many other experiences that we'll have so i might have to do an updated version of this video in the future i hope you have enjoyed it i hope you like it i hope you're going to engage with me and also share this video with your friends and family that would like to relocate to the us or other parts of the europe in the future please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed until i come your way next time stay what stay jiggy